Hi everyone, thanks for clicking on this video. Thank you to all who had watched my other videos and subscribed to my channel. If you like the content and new to this channel, please remember to subscribe. This DIY face mask requires hand sewing. No sewing machine is needed. The sock face mask is washable, reusable after washing, has a pocket for filter, and has a removable and replaceable pipe cleaner which I'm using as a nose bridge. If you have seen my other sock mask videos, I bought some socks that are really cute from the Dollar Tree store and this time I also bought some new ones which are really cool and cute. So I was able to get three crew socks and one ankle sock. So you need to cut the tip of the toe part of the socks to start with. This type of socks has a pattern of animals and it's on the side so you need to put it in the front. To put the two sides together and keep the animal face pattern in the front, we need to cut the toe part of the socks using a scissors. Cut the sides right next to the face pattern like a centimeter away. And I'm using pins here to make sure the face pattern is aligned on both sides. Do all the steps for the rest of the three socks. If you want to learn how to sew and stitch a face mask, you can also watch my other video and I'm providing a link on the comment section down below. The fourth sock that I bought is a sock with a heart shape pattern in the front and I bought another pair which is purple because it's an ankle sock and it's smaller than the rest of the socks. So I'm using two pairs for this particular face mask the heart shape pattern goes to the front and the purple socks goes to the back for this fourth socks you just cut in the middle and then put them all together same procedure as the first the second and the third socks this fourth set of socks is smaller than the rest of the other three socks so you need to make adjustments on the measurement based on your size and requirement so guys I just showed you how to put the face pattern together and align it for all the socks that I bought so to show you how I make the face mask I'm going to use the flamingo pink socks as the prototype for this DIY project so guys we are batch making four sock face masks for this project to show you how I make this sock face mask I will use the pink flamingo socks as a prototype to put the front part together we need to stitch the middle using a running or a back stitch. Do the same for the back sock material to put them together. I personally like to use the back stitch because there's no gap in between the stitch. If you're not comfortable holding the two fabrics together while sewing, you can always use pins if you know how to use the sewing machine, you can also use the sewing machine for this project. It's also nice guys that you will learn how to sew because imagine when you have your pants or your clothes altered, you pay so much for that. And doing it yourself is the best way to save some money. So the next step is to hem the back part of the fabric with the face pattern and hem it 
or stitch it. So it will be easier for you to sew the top part. You can always use pins as a guide and to keep the fabric together. That will be very convenient. So start hemming the top and make it look neat. When you're done stitching and hemming the top part, you then put over the sock material with a face pattern over the other material. Sew and stitch them together starting from the right side and the left side. You can trim the top part where you're connecting the two fabrics together so it won't look bulky. Sew across the lower bottom part of the sock material fabric, but leave an opening on both corners. Make sure the opening on each side is enough for you to slip in the elastics. You would be needing two elastics at 7 inches long. Slip in the elastic inside the opening. Start with the other side and make a loop at the end to keep it together. And then also do the same thing on the other side. Try to hide the loops inside the mask. Sock material is usually made of cotton blend and it's stretchy and easily conforms to your face. But you always have an option to put something uh, like a nose wire to create a nose bridge so it will conform to your face without a gap. So here I'm using a pipe cleaner and you can sew a pipe cleaner in the middle and at both ends. You can make the loops of your stitch a little bit loose so when you want to replace your pipe cleaner then you can remove it easily and replace it. So for this face mask we already have a nose wire. And we also have a pocket created where you can put in a filter. You can sew each corner to put them together and so that the elastics will not move around. I'm sewing a half centimeter from the opening to secure it and put the elastics in place. Inserting a filter in your face mask is optional since your fabric is already doubled. It's already two layers. Wearing a face mask or face cloth covering is essential to protect us and others, but we still need to practice social distancing, proper hand washing, and sanitizing in between for safety. So guys, I hope this DIY face mask tutorial is helpful. If you like it, please subscribe and turn on the notifications. So I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching.